Hey, Skittles. Hey, Max. How you doing there, boy? Yeah, I need it. I need a server. But everywhere I look, it's so expensive. What's a server? Uh, what, what are you trying to look at that's so expensive? What are you trying to build? A 5M server. What the heck is a 5M server? Oh, wait a minute. Do you mean that same one that uh, this kid Dazza was building? Yeah, hang on, let me call Daniel, maybe he can help. Yeah, you do that, son. Hey, Max, what's going on, buddy? Daniel, do you know any place that sells game servers? I, 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 I want to build my own 5M server. I got you, Max. Go check out FourSeasonsHosting.com. They got amazing game servers for a low price of three dollars a month it's very affordable max you get instant setup let's talk to richard oh don't forget the promo code redazzle for an extra discount forestseasonshosting.com offers a variety of games so if you don't like 5m and you want to change it up just talk to richard and his team will help you switch it up that's awesome man i still don't know what a 5m server is but you know what i think i might want one too Let's go get you guys hooked up. Go check out FourSeasonsHosting.com to get more information about their amazing products at affordable prices. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another ATS live stream. Yes, it is a Wednesday live stream. And uh, why not? Oh, for Werner Enterprise. Um, we are in the Peterbilt 3 e, uh, 579. Blech. And uh, we got Mr. Skittles up in the house. What up? 
Shoot. Doing a bird's eye view of my truck right now. Oh. I actually got the camera above the roof. Cool view. Mm. If you say so. So uh, what are you, uh, Mr. The... I'm pretty close to the drop-off in uh, Riverton, oh, Wyoming. I see. You're on, uh, I believe you're on uh, 28 there, heading up here. I think so. Yeah, I've got to be pretty close. So if you already see me on the map, I've got to be getting close. I see you on the map there. You're, uh, yep. You just got to head uh, straight, and then uh, you take a uh, right on uh, 789. I don't even know where this is, but man, it's beautiful. I nice believe. Rock yes. I believe. I uh, believe you can fly. All right. Can you fly though? No. I cannot. You cannot fly. Well, that's sad. My RKS or my RAKS fan does not spin. That makes me sad. One of the attachables from uh, from Sizzle, and doesn't work. Oh. Well, yeah, oh, shit. The other one, there's one that works. I just don't understand why this one doesn't want to work. There's no animation to it. Well, we are here at the uh, truck stop. Oh, okay. I might do an engine swap. I don't know. Okay. But uh, see what uh, what cargo is out there from Riverton. See where we can go. Okie dokie. When you get a chance. Oh, we can do that right now. All right. Sounds good. Uh, let's see what the uh, magical uh, market has for us tonight. Magical market. Oh, yeah. Magical market. Turn right. The crazy cargo market. Uh, or do you want to do uh, the contracts? No, I don't like contracts. Cause you don't want to get you don't want to get stuck at sixty five, do you? No, I'm stuck at sixty five right now. I'm turning past the McDonald's. Oh well, good thing it's not a sixty nine. I'm not the sixty nine. <laughs> Are you sixty nine or ninety six? I, I will. I will eventually be sixty nine years old. <laughs> that makes me sad. I have three years from fifty, so yeah. Yeah. I liked how last night uh, I was asked, hey, do you know about this thing? What, uh, what was it? Yeah, it was during the uh, it was during the podcast. Oh, and it was. Uh, it was something if I knew, oh, I bet you guys won't know this thing. And I'm like, uh, dude, I'm nearly 50. Uh, yeah, I know about that. Oh, it was uh, it was a TV show. Oh, it's not about a TV show. I'm like, come on, how do I not know that? Okay, I uh, like part of my youth. I have a oh, uh, leg spike. I got some uh, cargo engine parts uh, going to Thompson Falls, Montana. That works. All right. Oh, I see the Dazzle Nation. But I don't think my drop off is near you. Uh, before you pick it up, do you want to make it daytime? Uh, you have to make it daytime. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm hosting. That's right. Riverton discovered. Yeah, my drop off is just past you. It looks like. Uh, what engine is this? I think I have the thirty-four oh six. Oh. Hang on here. Before I drop the stuff, uh, this is a garage right here. Stop off right here and grab my engine replacement. I think I hear you beeping up. Hey. Oh, please don't. That's a tight squeeze there, bud. That's what she said. I'm actually looking for the the drop off. Where the hell is it? Oh, it's raining. Oh, shit. Not on my screen. Did I go right. I went right past it. How the hell did I not see it? 
Well, if you're gonna uh, t turn this today, then. Uh, yeah, I let might, me do it now. I might let me just do it wait. No, no, go ahead. I'm gonna do it now. Um, let's go six o'clock. Okay. Pray your eyes. Oh, not too bad. All right. Let me double check and make sure that load is uh, still available. Oh yeah, if it didn't disappear. Uh, yes, it is. Okay. All right, well, I got to drop off my stuff still. I'm, I just pull over here to get my... Uh... Oh. Keep right. I hate that it doesn't shift automatically into drive when I push forward. Uh, JB wow. Moo, welcome to the stream. We are hauling for Warner Enterprise on tonight's uh, live stream for our uh, fleet month. No, you cannot join us. This is not a uh, open convo, but nope, Keep this right. is uh, closed. After 50 yards, turn right. Turn right. Okay, let's uh, load this up. You have reached your destination. There it is. Uh, I think I have the 3406B. Not the E part. Not the E oh, okay. tonight. So. Oh, okay. Alright, let me look at my... Alright. So the engine I'm running is the... Oh, yeah, 34 e 3408700. Yeah, that has no jake break. I'm gonna go the... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go the C50... Uh, C1550. 550 engine. That'll, um, that should give me the Jake break. There we go. Alright. Turn off those wipers. And, of course, they want me to. Where do they want us? Alright, next to, uh, hot, uh, Napa Auto Parts. Well, of course. You gotta make this tricky for the Dazzle Nation. Uh-huh. Why would you expect anything less than that? Oh, because uh, it's SCS. And it never likes to uh, give me the easy option because I'm so experienced in trucking. It'll be a little while before I can pick up the load. Okay. I guess I gotta drop this thing off. No, they hurry the fuck up, Nucky. Okay. Oh, hang on here. All right. Back this baby up. Uh, I was watching uh Reading with Dave earlier. Oh man, him trucking it, he, him trucking in that damn Volvo, uh, yeah, makes me cringe. I can't fucking park. Ooh. I think he might be on the phone. Boys and girls. Uh. Alright. This is such a small space. Seem to be having problems with small spaces. Oh, no, they want it there. Okay. Okay. Oh, they want it there, so uh, I can't do much with body. Well, it doesn't help when you have a very long truck. 
And nope. Yeah, some spaces are not meant for it. But we got it. I got 83 miles left in this one. By the way, I had to take uh, my brother just called me. Oh. And it was, yeah, he was letting me know that. Um, so he has a 1979 or 78 uh, Arctic, Arctic Cat uh, Panther snowmobile. Oh. And while well, we've he's been wanting to take the engine and make it into a, use it for a go kart. Oh. And oh, he's he's like that. Yeah, it's a really cool idea. Problem is, one of the YouTubers he was watching had this very engine, a very sled that he's got, and they did some work on the engine, and it uh, blew one of the cogs in it. Ooh. But now the cog is plastic, so it's probably not a surprise. It was probably already weakened from, like, what, 40, 40 plus years of, uh, you know, wear and tear. So. Mm. Mm. Yep. Oh, where did you pick that load up at? Was that in Riverton? Tesla. <laughs> okay. It was just the, uh, uh, I may not. I may not actually be able to pick it up now because it's probably already passed. So I may just have to drop this off and meet you somewhere, or maybe meet you at your drop off and then uh, pick up from that location. I thought it was actually closer than I was. Yep. Okay. So the. Uh, this engine does have the uh, Jake brake in it, the C15. Yeah. So that's good. I got my nice farty engine. Oh, okay. Hawkeye. Okay. Okay. Um. I'm tracking your uh, your GPS there, bud. Oh, you creep. Are we going all the way near Jackson? I shouldn't be. Because there's nothing over there towards Jackson. No, it it said my drop off was Riverton. Maybe it is Jackson. I don't know. That's it's a it's a pickup. I mean, it's drop off. You can feel the high water on me. I no, said I was. I, I said I was going to Riverton. I thought that's where my drop off was, but I don't think it was. Oh well. Confuse the fuck out of me, boy. I always said to people, "Don't follow me. I don't know where the hell I'm going." Fine, I won't follow you. Okay. But hopefully, your uh, your YouTube audience will follow you and subscribe to your channel. Right. All right, let's get out of here. A broken down bus. Turn right. Uh. So you said there was nothing in Jackson. Looks like you're heading towards Jackson. Right. I don't know. Do, I don't know. I mean, I thought I was, but maybe I'm not. I don't know where I'm about it to. Run I'm away. just following the, I'm following the red stripe on the road. Yeah. Bruh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mr. Sentinel, how you doing there, bud? Greetings, no. After 100 yards, turn right. Uh, you literally just want to loop the loop. It just told you to turn right. So you're in Riverton. Turn right. <laughs> I think Skittles did the wrong. Did the oopsie oopsie. No, this was a cargo I picked up earlier. This is before we started doing the convoy. Yeah. You so, were in Riverton. You were at the. I went stop. to Riverton. Yeah, so I went to Riverton to actual shit. Wrong button. I went to Riverton to change engines. Yes, but you didn't throw up. But my drop off was not in Riverton. I said I was going to be in Riverton to change engines. Hmm. I should have said go to where I'm going to go to drop off my stuff. I forgot my stuff was in a different location. Yeah, bum. 
<laughs> well, you know what, though? You, you're still going to get your money on that. You're a bum. I'm just going to start with here. I'll be here than me. <laughs> uh, yeah, we are in the Peterbilt 579. Oh, you're in a 579? I'm in the 579. I'm the T680. Yeah. Bad ass Kenworth. Kenny worth every penny. Yeah. I said I think this is a Doppler radar right here. That's kind of cool. Hey, Mr. Freight Train, how you doing there, bud? Toot toot, it's the freight train. <laughs> <laughs> He's loaded like a freight train. No, it's for Mr. Freight Train, and this is for Sentinel. Ah, gotta drop that beat. Gotta drop that sick ass beat. See, if if Freight Train's name was Night Train, I'd totally play that GNR song. And yeah, I, can the, I can see the dazzle, uh, the dazzle nut job in front of me. I'm just saying. getting a copyright strike. Yeah, well, five seconds of it won't. Uh, you two will pick that shit up. E okay, so what about fair use? Oh yeah, I forgot it does not exist. <laughs> you two will pick that shit up. What is this janky freaking garbage I'm seeing in front of me? What are you talking about there, bud? There's like... Just never mind. It's just janky. It has janky McJank Jank. McJank face. I'm actually coming up to right behind you. Oh, I see you. Yeah. Look at this fat oh. ass. Did you just call me a fat ass? Yes. <laughs> Look at this T680 in this Werner. Damn straight. It's a beautiful <laughs> truck, man. No, I'm kidding. You know what would be really cool? It's actually if you could see your the drivers you hire on the same roads that you're taking. Yeah, but I think that would cause a lot more issues. I don't care about no stinking issues. I just want to see my drivers working the money, getting hmm. me the money. Yeah. Nope. This is literally Red Light Simulator. There goes Mr. Uh, Skittles. Oh, my drop up is like right up here. <laughs> my drop off is like right around this corner up here. There it is. Yep. We're gonna follow him. Is this technically Riverton or what is this? This is Riverton. Yeah, I thought it was going to Riverton. Uh huh. Oh, you're dropping it off at the Walmart. Is it this place? Yeah, it is. Oh shit. Curb check, tree check. Oh! <laughs> and. Caught on 10k. <laughs> this literally said 50 yards turn right and. <laughs> Fuck you. Why would Walmart have a fence? Walmart does not have fences, SCS. What the hell? Walmart does not secure its freaking loading bays. That was awesome. That was fucking awesome. I meant to do that. <laughs> there we go. Alrighty. Alright. I got my money. I got paid. You got paid? Okay. Yes, I don't I think did. you got paid enough, though. Nope. Alright, so where are you headed to right now? I'll follow you. I'm. You want to come pick up that Sig Cargo? Where's it at, though? Tesla. It's literally just down the street from you. Yeah, I got it. You're gonna take the same job. Got it. Okay. Oh, that's a long drive. Wow. Okay. 
Oh, because I came with my trailer to this depot, it needs to be transported to the garage in Idaho Falls before taking this job. Well, you can select a thing, dumbass. Okay, hold on here. Uh, no. So how do I do this then? Own truck? Own truck and trailer. Oh, here we go. Provided truck and tra own truck and trailer. There you go. There we go. Take I didn't know you could do that. Yes, you could. Cool. I will take that. I did not know that was a thing. Call. After all these years of playing this game, I cannot believe I didn't know that. I heard it, Wobble. How are you doing? All right, so let me go pick up that load. Yeah, this is a sketchy, this is a picking spot, but they don't care. I love the sound of the Caterpillar engine. Uh, you like that sound, don't you? Yeah, I just don't like getting out of this fucking parking lot. <laughs> <clears throat> well... We're gonna wait for Mr. Skittles, and then we will, uh... Yeah, I gotta, t I gotta turn around, I gotta do a massive U-turn. We will, uh... Do I already have the cargo in my truck? No. I think I do. Or I gotta go pick it up. You gotta go pick it up. Mother oh, fornicator. This asshole. He's an easy butthole. Okay. Can't get out of this fucking parking lot, man. The hell? You know, fucking SCS has got to get rid of these goddamn fences. This is bullshit. This is not a thing Wait. in many of these stores. I don't know why they do this. It, because it makes the parking lots so damn tight, and it's not like this in the real world. Ugh. All right, I see the uh, the flag right now. Okay. And then I'll hit my recording. Okay. Good. Okay. Drive is fun, good. <laughs> Open the gate, I'm good. Oh man, this. Fuck this traffic. I'm going, I don't care. There you go. Go straight. Like another legal drive. Jesus. Shh. <laughs> you saw nothing. You're caught at 1080, damn it. <laughs> Can you imagine this in GTA 5, how fast I get a ticket? Yep. Jeffrey would pull my ass right over after seeing that janky stuff. <laughs> You're not wrong, bud. You are not wrong. Let's go follow Skittles. No. You do not need to follow me. I don't know what I'm doing. Let's follow, let's follow Mr. Skittles. See how I gotta many figure out where the drop off is. Uh, where's the pickup at? Oh, it's right here. Wow. Yeah, I gotta back it up. So I'm just gonna cheat it. Don't care. Alrighty, let this message clear out real quick. Start my recording. Start my recording. Mr. Chitty. Hey. Chitty, Chitty, Bang, Bang. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Skiddle Kicks here, and I am back with you at another convoy with the Dazzle Nation. We are hauling for Werner Enterprises in their retro style paint scheme. It's very cool. This is available on the Steam Workshop. Go check it out. And while you're there, check out some other amazing trucks that we're driving in this as well. All right. Okay. On my way. How are you? I am. Finally leaving this. Well, I think Elon, I Elon, Elon Musk perfume shop. Put this on the left. That's what is with ever. this traffic? Werner. Traffic nation. 
Traffic Nation. Oh no! Bye bye. <laughs> uh, we are hauling car engine uh, parts, sixteen thousand pounds, going up to Thompson Falls. I think you're the reason why the traffic was so jacked up. Uh, yes. Asshole. I'm gonna beat this Mac and Mac. Oh. <laughs> I did not know I bumped my, uh, my thing here. <laughs> and there we are, folks. I have no idea what's in front of me. But this looks like a maze thing. Whee! Oh, a good straight shot of road. I got a 3408, 3406B. Uh, your engine? 50? I did the uh, 550 uh, Caterpillar C15. So I can have my Jake break. I love the other engine, to be honest, but it's an older engine as uh, Dazzle Research. It came out in the 70s. And it's. What was the. Uh, what was it the ancestor of? That it's mentioned. the uh, 3406. 3406, okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. This doesn't sound too yeah. bad. Yeah. I agree. Please. I literally hear this around my neighborhood. It's amazing. Dazen, when you get time, Ethan wants you to stop by his stream. What's that? Sentinel City. Ethan wants me to stop by his stream. Oh. Well, it's going to be a couple of hours. Yeah. Thermopolis, what a name. Oh, there you are, Ethan. Go straight. Speaking of the devil. <laughs> How you doing? How you doing there, bud? Oh yeah. Oh, Jake break time. <laughs> That sounds so good. Yeah, I'm trying not to be speedy speedy around these uh, these parts. No, I was doing 55, but it actually went down to 45 before these tunnels came up, so I had to slow down with the Jake. Yeah. And in real life, you wouldn't be speeding all through. No, well, you, you, no, you would go the speed limit, but you would probably know this area fairly well, so you would you would know what's coming up. Oh, look what's passing us right now. Ah, Swifty. Oh no. I don't want to see a Swifty. I mean, we already see too you much. You are so anti Swift trucking. That is hilarious. Where where does that anger come from, Dazzo? Where does that. Where does that dis, distaste and dislike of Swift trucking come from? Uh, when you go uh, search up YouTube called uh, Swift, uh, yeah. You see a lot of uh, dumb idiots do that. Are they just bad drivers? Uh, duh. But that's not the entire company. Duh, every single one of them are. Really? No, oh, that sucks. I mean, that there is a few good stuff. eggs, guys. Like I said, but still. Have you ever seen Amazon drivers? Oh, God, what is this truck doing? Uh, yeah. Boeing, what are you doing? Make my life miserable doing that. Have you seen the UPS drivers? <laughs> yeah. We don't talk yeah. about Yeah. That's a three letter word we don't talk about. Uh, 
I'm just saying. Go straight. Uh, I got oh, hung up on a traffic light. Oh, hello, uh, Howard Patrol. How you doing there, bud? He's come to arrest you. No, he's in front of me. Oh, he's come to give you a speeding ticket. Nah. Or a, or a, a speeding ticket or a, or a complimentary Dazzle Dollar. Dazzle Dollar? Dazzle Anybody dollar. want a Dazzle Dollar? He'll literally pay you to watch his content. <laughs> no. <laughs> In Dazzle Dollars. Watch my content and get a Dazzle Dollar. With 100% used, interest. That used to be a fucking thing, too. Like, people would use those as uh, stream bits and, uh, fucking. They, ask, they also even had it for, uh, YouTube as some sort of, uh. I can't remember who else fucking had it. I know, uh. John and James used to fucking do that for Twitch and YouTube. Wow. Um, I know a lot of people fucking did that before. It's like you do some, you watch like a certain amount of time, you get a certain amount of like points. You can then technically redeem it for like prizes and whatnot, or even uh, sound bites. That's crazy. <clears throat> I remember that. I used to do that for a while, and I'm like, eh, too much work. I just stopped. If it costs more than, I mean, if it costs more than the actual traditional, I mean, I honestly don't want to spend money if I, like, here's the thing, I was talking about this in my other, uh, in one of my videos I just produced today, was regarding what we were talking about, you know, about small channels, and I'm like, what I don't like is this concept of actually buying your, uh, buying your, uh, viewers, or buying your, uh, subscribers i'm like first i mean even if it's i mean technically it's not it shouldn't be illegal to do it but uh, up to youtube but the thing is it's it's so artificial it's so fake it's like if you i mean legitimately you must suck as a creator if you have to literally buy your viewers buy your subscribers you, know you must they... not be a good content creator i mean don't get me wrong I've, I know people that fucking do it. Yeah, I, I understand that, but it just, it, I just—I mean, I'm just from my point of view, it's like earn your stripes, earn them. It's not look, it's never going to happen overnight. Even I know that. And Dazzle, I even said that you know you've been at this for six years, and mm -hmm. it's not easy for you. No, you know, I just do it for even fun. To get, yeah, but to get to the thousand, it's like yeah, you're so close, and it's like okay, you know, but it's like, but it's not what drives you. It doesn't drive you to go and say, I'm going to go buy the rest of my subscribers and then get to that thousand mark because it's just, I don't know. Even then, you, even then you still need the watch hours to fucking uh, yeah, get Yeah, exactly. The watch hours are what matters. Subscriber counts will not give you your views. You're going to have it, fucking 10,000 subscribers and still not that, have that freaking uh, watch hours. Be like, what's the point? Yep. You spend yep. hundreds and thousands, maybe even thousands of dollars just to do that. It's like, and I think the other thing is that people don't realize is that it's it, it doesn't it, it makes you look like you're not a good content creator. Yeah, you know what I mean. I would rather see somebody who can make good content and may only only have like a hundred subs or or fifty subs or ten subs. Because to me, that person's at least trying to make an effort. Quality over quantity, boys and girls. Yes. Quality over quantity. And I, look, don't... I, I admit my stuff is not that great, but I still do it because I enjoy it. See, that's why the Dazzle Nation always love to show off amazing content creators. Like Skittles. Am I amazing? Cool. Like I'm part of the cool club. Like uh, Miss Phelan Beckett. Like Ethan Boudreau, just to name a few, and even some of our other friends, like Jeffrey Gamer or Criminal Justice, we'll showcase them too because they're, you know, part of our our community and we're part of their community. 
<laughs> and they're great content creators. Freight train. I I'm not, I don't have the chat open up, so I have no idea what he said. Uh, Freight train says, "Pay me some money to watch, and uh, I will watch, and I can go get some uh, bills paid." <laughs> If only it was that easy. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. So I got stuck at this red light for a second time. Oh, rip. Yeah. Yeah. You know, because derpy is derp, derp. Derp, derp. So my girlfriend was telling me today that Sam's Club Pizza... Uh -huh. It's actually really, really good. Really? Oh my god! This car! Okay, you know what? I don't care. Nope. You made me miss my light, asshole. Screw you. Did you pet him? No, I was trying to go around him, but then he actually went through the red light. I don't care. That's just lame. This is if if a, if ATS two ever comes out, they've got to fix this AI. It is so bad, and it isn't just bad on like, you know, glitchy. It's just been bad since it was dropped. Anyway, yeah. Huh. But yeah, I did some more uh, ETS today i got two videos coming up soon i gotta edit them but uh it was a lot of fun but i gotta admit i am starting to feel a little bit of um uh, uh what is it uh i'm not very impressed with my daff anymore after trying to traverse a bunch of gentle hills even though it's it's got really good maneuverability and can traverse hills for whatever reason it just struggled now I could be very um, biased because I've been driving ATS for so many years and I'm just used to how it how these engines work now yeah but and how the transmissions work but still you should not lose you know 30 miles an hour when you're going uphill when you literally got the throttle down all the way Bye, Blaine. Come on, Greyhound. Move it. Uh, Oops. Cruise control. 70. I never have issues going up, up, uphill. Of course not, because you're perfect. Just kidding. <laughs> it's because I know how to shift, damn it. I'm just waiting for his rebuttal. <laughs> What's that? I was gonna wait for your re rebuttal. Be like, shut the fuck up, asshole. If I'm silent, it's because I'm not gonna dignify it with a response. <laughs> right. Alright. Into yeah, the I'm getting, I'm I'm literally getting every red light in this uh, area right now. Poor skids. No, it's fine. I want to play legit if I can. What? How the hell do I, what? Uh. How the fuck did I get the uh, two percent trailer uh, truck damage and six percent trailer damage? What the fuck? Bruh. We call that lag. We call that Y fail connection. I didn't even hit anything. Remember that forty-five percent damage you got in your trailer and that tr on the truck a while back? Yeah, same thing. I bet. The magic of uh, hitting the hitting everything. Yep. You're taking driving lessons from me. I told you not to do that. What driving lessons? No, tra driving lessons. Keep right. Driving oh, lessons? Oh, 
And then beyond the train is a freaking way station. Great. Oops, I got 4% damage on my car because I rear-ended a car because my brakes did not work. Yay! I'm just having all manner of derp. I hope this is amazing content for people. Nice travel. Welcome to Montana. Excuse me. Uh, you're not excused, asshole. No, I was telling this car to move. I had to go around it because it was one I rear-ended and he wouldn't move. Oh, I actually can bypass. Cool. Goddamn son, son of a bitch. Home, uh, uh, welcome to Franny. Oh. Franny? What? That's what the sign said. It said what? Franny. Welcome to Franny. Keep right. Uh, that's what she uh -huh. said. I just said, welcome to Franny. Look at me, I'm so derpy. Sometimes I do think these miles per hour signs that they put out, they they must have made a change in something because it went from 30 to 70 and then within 5 feet it was, it was 65 again. Like, that makes no sense at all. I don't know why they do that. It's like, do you guys not know how to pay attention to your road signs? Nope. I guess not. To Laurel. I gotta go to Laurel. Laurel? Go to Laurel and meet up with Hardy. Yellowstone River. Oh. Buildings are uh, right lane. Oh. Okay. Laurel, Montana. Laurel. 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 Take a ride. Turn right. Ooh, like Spike. I see the Dazzle Nation. Now you see me? Now you don't. That's fine if I don't. It's not much to look at. I'm just kidding. Whoa! I know. <laughs> Bruh. Yeah. Keep right. right. After 50 yards, turn Let's right. Let's go. Yeah, I'm just now coming up to Butt Montana's exit. It's Butte Montana, asshole. It's Butt. According to Babish and Butthead, it's Butt. <laughs> There's no feud about it, it's butt. Well, you are the butt. What? What, what, the butt? I'm such a child. Oh. Yes, you are. Butt. How are you? How are you? Butt monkey.
Yellowstone River. Getting 4.7 miles to the gallon. That's terrible. Uh, I'm averaging about uh, 4.6 miles per gallon. Whoops. Truck smashed into my trailer. Whoops. This is like the worst driving I've had in a long time. <laughs> That's like, what she legitimately, said. like the worst driving in a long time. This is not representative of Warner Trucking Enterprises and uh, their drivers. This is just Skittle Kicks not knowing what the hell he's doing. Welcome to my world, folks. How you doing? He's just being a derpy derp. A purple? He's being a purple. A purple. I can't wait to see what they do with the uh, the next gen trucks for uh, the 579 and the uh, 389. Yeah? Mm. What are they coming out? I don't know. Are these mods or actual SCS trucks? SCS trucks with upgrades. I mean, no, we already got that 20, technically 2024. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 86 inch uh, cab for uh, the W900. Hmm. That's a, I like that. I like that a lot. And I do. I mean, to be honest, I do like the 57 XE from uh, we, uh, from uh, Western Star. That is a great looking truck. It is. And it drives nice. I mean, it, I've driven that thing as for, for my fleet, and I'm like, yeah, this is a great truck. Nothing wrong with uh, SCS trucks, man. I tell you. Nope. They did a good job. Just the sounds suck. Yeah. Interiors uh hit or miss. Not too bad. Not too, well. See, some of the interiors are pretty good, but it's the uh, it's the engines that are just bleh. Nope, just not good. Honestly, 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 I'm surprised SCS hasn't reached out to uh. Same mods. They should commission them. Hmm. Hey, Z mods, you want to work for us? We'll pay you a certain amount of money. I mean, it just it depends on how much they actually make off their mods. I mean, it could be lucrative for them to get with uh, SCS because these guys go out in the field. Like these guys will go out in the field, record the engines from interior exterior and it just sounds amazing they probably go riding with them too to get that extra experience as well i know z mods does that's what i mean i don't know what scs does they're literally just pulling sound bites from the internet i have no clue yeah but like this engine the six the c17 i'm running or the c15 i'm sorry that i'm running right now it sounds incredible. I mean, it's so realistic. Okay, I'm seeing cars in the oncoming traffic uh, disappearing right in front of my eyes. That's normal. Uh, it's got to be lag. Like desync, big time. Like massive desync. Welcome to Bush, man. So, you know, if our good friends over at Four Seasons Hosting uh, actually build a cool convoy server, I wonder if, if we will no longer have these kind of issues where things are just so bugged out, where mods only load, a, you know, like only load partial, or if... Uh, the cars that are on the other side of the road just disappear? I don't know. 
But you know, folks, that would be really cool if, if they do that. No, they can't. And, the the oh, only they, thing FSH is doing is uh, using I was saying the... If they could, I didn't say if they did. I said they, if they will or could, that would be amazing. I didn't say they could do it. But you know what they can do? What they can give you great deals on virtual private servers. Only about fifteen dollars a month. They give you great deals on game servers, and they don't charge you per slot, which means if you have like a five M or a Minecraft community, they're not going to charge you for every person that plays on that server. They don't do things like that. They uh, they offer amazing web hosting services. So if you got a website you want to transfer it over to them, they'll help you do that. You'll even get a month. Uh, what was it? No, it's not a month for free, was it? Or a month for free? Or I forget. You get a whole year for free. Whole. Wow. Okay, that's cool. Nobody does that. And finally, finally, if you are a coder and you need a place to store your code, they now have code servers where you can put all of your code that you work so hard on up there for just a couple of bucks. In fact, it's so inexpensive that you can, you could actually have like what? You can buy. Or, or you could you could literally buy. You know, you can even have a cup of coffee from Starbucks for that price. That's what I was trying to say. I mean, you can't go wrong with those deals. Now, you want to save a couple extra bucks? Just go to checkout when you've chosen your server and uh, enter the code RAYDAZO and you get some extra money off. Oh, and any of these servers can all be customized to your taste. So they do have ones that are already pre-built, but you can you can customize it any way you want to. Go check out Four Seasons Hosting for all your server needs. I want to get over and I can't. Oh, well. That was a dirty, dirty van that did me dirty. Or an SUV. So I'm literally, uh, well, now I'm about 12 cars back from you. I saw you. Yeah, because that stupid truck slowed me down. Actually, SUV slowed me down. I don't know why they do that. In the, like, why do you need to slam on your brakes in the fast lane? Like, how does it? How is it even doing that? Like, why would they do that? Ugh. Fix your game, SCS. Oh, but it is beautiful out here. Yes. So I'm curious. Uh, how did uh, the last podcast go? Yeah, that's all right. Honestly. So for season two, Dazzle and I have been coming up with some ideas and uh, bouncing around some potential uh, new content. Hey, the next by the way, speak of new content, uh, did you see the DM that I, or uh, that last post I posted in the uh, in our uh, secret chat there? No, I didn't actually. I haven't looked at it yet. Sorry. God damn it. Sorry. Is it, is it important? Uh, I was thinking, uh, maybe we could, uh, we could invest in, uh, doing some, uh, like a Saturday night kind of way. Saturday night live edition, Dazzle style, where, uh, improv is an actual thing. Why did that just sound so dirty? God damn it. That's just... <laughs> I mean, legitimately, that could have been such a cool thing, and then it just, for some reason, it hit my head and my ears, like, Saturday Night Special, Dazzo Style. Uh, yeah, what? what? What are you planning, dude? What's up, James? How you doing there, bud? My truck's faster. Neener, neener, neener. Oh, excuse me, pardon my, pardon my cutting in line. <laughs> Don't wreck it, Ralph, though. <laughs> yeah, 
He's got his. He's got his fuck you horn. <laughs> uh. Yoink. Now, of course, I got cut off by other cars too, so I got to cut over in this lane now. Oh, pardon me, that bullshit driving. What the? <laughs> oh. <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> <laughs> Did you desync like that or what? No. No, it was not desync. I was lowering and controlling it. The fuck? <laughs> Apparently, you were not controlling it because, oh my god, I saw that in the mirror. <laughs> well, you got your thousand view clip for the night. So, and I know like that wasn't me because I was far enough ahead of you. Oh god. Well, I hope your audience saw that because that was amazing from my point of view. I'm doing all right. I saw right. you go in the ditch. I'm like, okay. I mean, I just saw you like cut way over, and then I saw you get air, and I'm like, uh, what? I want to see it on your end someday. Uh, oh, you have to look at, you have to literally look at the driver's side mirror when this when I uh I'll make it I'll try to make a short of it and kind of zoom it on the mirror. <laughs> yeah, I'll try to I'll try it. to figure out how to zoom in on that part of it, and then you can see it. Oh. I'll, try to, I'll try to do that tonight for you. No, it's funny. I don't. I, I my brain cannot wrap around what I just saw. <laughs> How I much damage? Was fooling around and then yeah. No, 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 no. Uh, I was I was already past you. I was past you. I saw almost the entire picture of what that was in my mirror. Because I saw screen. you riding on the shoulder, and then I, all of a sudden I saw you just cut way wide, and I'm like, uh, what is he doing? And then I saw you launch, and I'm like, okay. Yep. I'm going to 1066 that shit. I ain't looking back. I ain't stopping that guy for reckless driving. I only have 5% uh, trip damage and 7% really? on the trailer. And you got, well, yeah, but what's your truck have, though? Five. From just that one crash? You got lucky, dude. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm alright, though, James. <clears throat> Can you imagine if you had a, a motion platform when you did that? Oh, oh I would have loved that. You're like an ejector seat, man. I would have loved fucking seeing that. That would have been around. amazing. But I don't have that money. No. <laughs> No, I don't either. I don't even have enough to buy a good steering wheel and pedal setup. Even if I did, my brother was looking at the the Thrustmaster uh, shifter, the uh, I think it's the P twenty four or something like that. Yeah, and I think that's one that Jeff used to use back in the day, but I think he modified it to put the longer uh, the longer uh, truck shifter on it. That's the but the what's cool about that one is it's got a nice uh, double H pattern. E. I mean, you could literally set up any wheel, technical wheelbase, and then buy. You have to uh, have one that's got a minimum of 900 degrees. And then okay. just uh, buy yourself a uh, external uh, steering wheel. Yeah. Because let's face it, for anyone that owns a uh, wheel combo, uh, the the ones that comes with it is like, yeah, it's a little bit smaller than what you would use in uh, real life anyways. True. But if you want the realistic effect with a bigger steering wheel, yeah, you have to fork it out. Well, a 900 turning radius is about what you want. Uh, and I don't know, I've never tried a Thrustmaster I mean, I only hear things from Jeff, so I don't know. I mean, my results can vary, but my, my results can suck. Uh, Thrustmaster is the way to go for yeah. wheel setup. I mean, if, obviously, if you have more money, go Fanatec. Well, I'm never going to have... I'm not even going to ever have money to buy a nice steering wheel. I mean, I, I was... It's not bad it's getting. I was looking at a, uh, a, P, a PNZ or a PXN... Uh, which has the 270 and then the 900 pin that you actually can pull to make a turn 900 degrees. Oh, I know that one. Yeah. But I don't know how good it is because my PNY or my PXN sucks. 
It's garbage. It's only a 180. It's not designed for truck driving. I think it's designed more for racing. And the shifters, like, I hate the shifters. They're like little clicky shifters. I'm like, why is that a thing? That's like, what are you, bad cats? Hmm? Yep. Uh, Martin uh, Mickens. I said this right. I said it right this time. Yeah, we are hauling for uh, Werner Enterprise. On tonight's stream. Yep. And I keep wrecking my truck, too. I've already got 14% damage on it when I took the shoulder. Well, so, that's a you issue, not a me issue. That's a bad driving issue. <laughs> See, that's why I needed that mod, so I could make sure I don't lose money. <laughs> For as many accidents as I get into, dude, I've got to do it. Jeez. I know. I'm such a bad boy. As Lemmy... Kill Mr. Waterhead once saying, I'm so bad, baby, I don't care. Okay. Hey, Motorhead's awesome. Um Yeah, I can't wait until uh we get season two started for uh, the podcast. Yep. Improv night. Maybe once or twice a, twice a week. Or, uh, not twice a week. Uh, once every other show, give or take. We'll see. Yeah, I'm getting that uh, frame rate drop. Holy shit, that was Whoa. a lag spike. Um. Is it glitching on your screen? Like, does it feel like it's, like, losing frame rate? little bit, but not yeah. bad. Yeah, and I'm wondering, because California does that a lot to me, too. There's certain areas of this map where you just, the frame rates just tank. It's horrible. It almost feels like a strobe light effect, even though it's not. Gonna stay a little bit back from you. Yeah, I would. Yeah, because if I'm getting leg spikes like already, I'm. I don't want you ramming my truck where you're gonna get all that damage again. Wow. Gotta get over, by the way. Oh shit! This is gonna suck. This is gonna suck. Oh. Phew. I'd have locked the brakes up so bad. Whoa! Whoa! Jeez. Uh. Uh, that. Uh, okay, there's my short. Uh, Sai got the fuck up. <laughs> wow, I'm glad I got that recorded again. Oh, my truck is my oh. truck is so bad right now. Uh, Sai didn't fuck up. <laughs> Did that mess you up? No, but uh, when I was uh, I tell, oh, tell me you saw that. Yes, truck completely that. go nuts. I saw that. Sayak on and it was, I don't even know what it did because I was not even any. I didn't even touch that thing. So it's like, uh, did it lag out? I think it did. That was massive desync then. Yeah, I've, I'm gonna have to fix my truck before we start the next mission because holy crap, this is bad. I've already got a sir. I have a check engine light and a service <laughs> center light on. Damn, bro. Dude, that and I because it ran, because it actually ran, helped me run into that truck too. Like that truck that was in front of me, I ended up running in the back of him because that truck freaked out. And I think it landed on my truck as well. I'll have to go back and watch the replay, but damn, that was horrible. Well, I'm looking at probably about a ten thousand dollar repair bill now at this point. <laughs> so I'm thinking about I actually probably should repair before I take the. Well, I guess it won't matter because uh, I'm not sure if the goods will be damaged. As long as your goods are not damaged, you still get the whole. Price. That's why. Well, there's no way to fix the trailer, and then that's going to be a thing. 
I gotta slow down a little bit. I'm trying to get to about 60 up this. Since this is a very sh uh, this is a mountainous road. Um. Yeah. Ooh. How good of a view did you get of that wreck? Eh, I was decent. I saw it happen because I was uh, on the external cam. Oh. Yeah, I was. I'm always internal, so I I only see through the windshield. I'm like, uh, what was that? I did double check and uh, get that clip after. Yeah, I well, I'm gonna clip it from my perspective, and then that other one of you going off roading. Or if, uh, if anyone wants to uh, get those clips, uh, you guys are more than welcome to uh, do that. Yep. Well, knock on wood, no engine stalls, so that's good. But I did it one time, but that was before that wreck. So, hopefully not again. <clears throat> Thompson Falls discovered. Welcome to Thompson Falls. Keep left. After 50 yards, turn left. And there goes my engine. At least I'm here. You're here? I'm here. But man, do I gotta find a park. I gotta. Well, God, I can't even turn. Such a uh, I want to show you something before the end of my live stream tonight. Oh, what the uh, hell? Alrighty, then. I'll pop over to uh, your stream here in a second. Oh! The fuck? I missed my turn. Uh. All right. I was like, "What the hell happened to your thing?" <laughs> I don't. I'm having issues. <laughs> I'm gonna have so many points knocked off this. I bet. Oh, I got a par. Okay, my job, my drop up is uh, in front, uh, right where you are technically, but uh, in the, in one of the docks. Oh, this is gonna be great. Yep, I got a damage penalty of two hundred forty-seven dollars. All right, Warner Express, let's go. All right, well, folks, that's gonna do it for me on this episode. Hope you all enjoyed. Take care, everybody. Bye for now. All right, I gotta go and uh, get repairs. That was a, that was a horrendous crash. I should be able to make this. Oh, I see my truck does not like this. Oh. Wow, there are no repair bays around here. Echo Elacord, subscribe to, to the channel. Hey, Echo, welcome to, to the uh, stream family, man. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. 
How long was that video? That was a 44 minute video. Well, there's about 15 minutes of content I can save. Yeah. Where was this, uh, where was our drop off here? Uh, it was, uh, wherever you l fucking left off to Thompson Falls. Okay. Uh, I'll get you the details. Uh, R Riverton to, uh, Thompson Falls. Yeah, I'll just, I'm just got to Thompson Falls. That's fine. That's more than ample. Okay, I got a ton of work I got to do tonight, that's for sure. <laughs> no joke. Oh god, that's right, uh, So I got I got to move my truck though so you can get in, right? No, it's fine. But it would help a little bit. Anyway, but... Yeah, let me let me just warp myself out of here cuz I got to get repairs. Okay, mm, I can do this. I got it. Wow, sixteen hundred and ninety-four dollars takes three hours a minute. Wow, jeez, that sucked. Well, that's what happens when you drive like a maniac. <laughs> you said maniac. Yeah, I was driving like a dum dum. But hey, I was having fun though. Are oh, you gonna have fun? Sound fun on this stream, right? You gotta have lots of fun. Fun. Yes, fun. I can English. <laughs> I can English. Okay. There. So, okay, so check this out. Oh, Truck damage $13,656. Trailer damage $2,261. Or $2,261. Co insurance. Five thousand seven hundred eighty-four at and thirty-six percent. So they Ooh. covered only thirty-six percent damage. My insurance only covered that much. Yep. I've never paid attention to that before. I'm su I'm surprised they haven't cut me from their policies yet. Right. That should be a thing. Hey, Sky, how you doing? Oh, oh, you know what? I just thought of a perfect simulator. Auto insurance simulator. Oh, God. And it's literally, you are an insurance adjuster, and you have to actually go out there and uh, survey damage and all that stuff. Oh, no. Yeah. I. Why isn't that a thing? I mean, I, I mean, there's so many things that are that. I don't know why it's not. So. Anyway. Eh, don't. Hold, hold your boots. It might actually fucking happen. You never know. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> that would be sad. All right, I'm going <laughs> to go see where the Dazzle Nation is. Uh... Oh God, where did I end up? What are you? Oh, dude, I'm up by uh, Calspale or Calispale. Uh, Cal Calispale. Calispale. Okay. Yeah. Calispale. Well, I gotta, hit, I gotta hit that F7 too. So. I'm gonna. Oh, you are. Okay. So where do you want to meet up then? Uh, it looks like I'm going to Calispale too. So. Yay. Okay. Cool. Well, I'm not in Calispale. I'm south of it, but I'm gonna. Well, I'm going. I'm gonna go head up that. I'm gonna go drive up that way and uh, find a find something up there. Okay. So, I was just going to a repair shop up there anyway, so that's why. Yeah, it's, it's raining right now anyway, so whoops. Uh, yeah, welcome everybody to another uh, Leap Month edition. We are hauling for... Oh, it literally took you to this one too, that's cool. Warner Enterprise. Yes, we are. Alright, so I gotta figure out... The route to get to Kalispar. Uh, I'm all right. Let's see. Okay, it's just uh, where am I at? Okay, it's a it's a right turn. All right. Oh, looks like uh, Mr. Ethan has his own uh, own uh, little hat there. I see. Oh, okay. Okay, he's showing off. He's showing off. He showed off his the new hat, boys and girls. In case anybody was wondering. <clears throat> Speaking of hats, I was uh, tempted to uh, get a uh, Dazzle Nation podcast uh, fitted, custom made. And I was looking at the pricing. I'm like. Hmm. Cause I used to I used to own a few hats that was customized. Um 
I might still do it in a way, but uh, that would be cool. Yeah. Custom fitted hit with a uh, Dazzle Nation podcast uh, branded on it. That would be cool. The oh, only like... reason that I haven't really got into the whole merch shit is because, well, one, it's expensive. And. Well, you it doesn't cost anything to customize. It just depends on how you're going to do it. Like, if you go through, like, a Zazzle or a Cafe Press, it costs you nothing, but you just don't get profits. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Unless you were going to make it, like, you were going to print your own stuff, like, actually print it. Yeah. It's. Oh, uh, okay. That's different then. Yeah. I was just going to use, like, a company like uh, Cafe Press or something like that. But that's not going to be for a long time. Anyways, uh, let's see what Mr. Uh, I'm Mr. looking for uh, gas right now. These are not open. Uh, Oh, you got it from you got it from Lids too, Mister Ethan. Nice. <laughs> oh, Lids is a cool store. Yes, they made. I I bought a few hats from uh, Lids back yeah. in the day. They did some pretty good job. So I might go back into uh get the get that fitted up. <clears throat> I might That's even cool. do uh I might even try and like, depending on the pricing, uh might even get them to do the actual dazzlemation uh brand would be cool to get that uh yeah that would be cool all right i'm gonna head out uh up to head north <laughs> right now why you gotta head north because that's where Callis is this is the actual Cali. Uh, actually, I could do one of these. I guess I could do the Ford dealership right here. Did you not so look into the cargo market? Because it should give you the. Oh, uh, I, know, I know that. But I was actually going to stop at a place and actually see what they got, but I may have to do that instead. Because I think if I don't, maybe if I don't do that, you can't join. I can Let still me... join. I just got to make sure I click the uh, thing. Click the right one. Here, I'll just do the cargo map real quick. Uh, cargo. Okay, so where are we at here? It should give you the uh, call. Yeah, it is. It is. I'm looking. I'm looking right now. Uh, what sounds interesting here? Uh, I got nothing but tools. Use the ink cartridges. Uh, nothing fancy. Plywood boards. Yeah. There's nothing really good up here in uh, Kalispell. <laughs> no, there isn't. Any. But. We we gotta grab a load out of here. Sort of thing to, I want to see the same thing to Missoula from here. Missoula. Yeah, there's one. There's uh, tires going to Missoula, Montana, which is just below us. And that's from Kenworth. It's a high. It's a uh, an urgent delivery. Doesn't pay a lot, but it is. It's to Kenworth. Yeah. Whatever. Meh. Meh. Nah. Meh. Never mind. I'll do, uh, I'll do that on my own time. Uh, okay, so where do we want to go? Do you want to go to Thompson Falls and see what they got there? I mean, I can look. Oh, we do car. Okay, we can do car engines, but we already did that, didn't we? Let's see what. Let's see what the uh, Thompson. Oh, Falls here we go. Has. Let's let's haul some. Whoa, that's a long. Oh wow, that's way too long. Uh, Ethan, I already see what you got there, bud. I check out on the stream afterwards, but I'm not gonna stop my stream oh. just to head over there. Okay, how how about this one? CNC machines from Thompson Falls to Pendleton, Oregon. Mm, sure. All right. Well, that's a drive though. So, do you wanna do we wanna um do we wanna zero that and just warp, or do we wanna just drive there? Where is it at? 
Thompson it's in, Falls? Uh, Thompson Falls, yeah. We're going to walk it. Okay, yeah, it's going to be a long drive. Okay, so I'll, I'll set the, des the destination for that. And we'll zero this oh. out. Uh, okay. There we go. That worked. Uh, oh, God. Did I spell that wrong? How'd you spell it? Thompson, right? T H. T H O M P S O N. Yeah. Just put then... Tom just put Thompson and that'll put you there. You don't have to put falls. Okay, that's cool. Yep, you're right. Okay, that's what I did wrong is I put falls in. Trust All me, right. I already tried. I was like, uh, Oh, you oh, did that yeah. earlier? Okay. Like, and then okay. let's you know, well, I gotta figure out where this is gonna go to now. Cause I don't know what direction it is. Uh, is that it? Oh yeah, it is right here. Okay, just gotta find the entrance here. Well, this is a dark area too. It's cute. So it's literally in the middle of nowhere. Oh hell no. God damn, I hate when it does that. Alright. I'm gonna wait for, uh... Skittles to, uh, get his car. Uh, go ahead and take- I'm- I'm fucking- God damn, this thing, this... Fucking light shit sucks. It fucking goes way too fast. And even if you adjust it, it goes way too fast. Uh, use the scroll wheel. Yeah, I did. But then I then it goes too damn slow because it's so so fucking sensitive to get it to work. All right, there we go. I'm at the site. Yeah. I know this is so janky, but whatever. Oops, right there's fine. All right, I'm here. All right. All right. Um, I landed outside the dealership just in case, so that way we didn't land on the top of each other. Okay. I think it's right up here at the end of the wall. Turn yeah, yard. it is. Turn right. Turn right. Oh, it's at the Tesla. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's like the only place over here. Did I? I am waiting for him to go pick it up and then make him grab the same loads. Yep. There we go. Should be able to take it. Oh, um, trick and trailer. Seriously? That won't let me pick it up. The flag. Why can't you? You do not have a compatible trailer for the current cargo. How is that possible? What is the cargo? Hold on. Uh, CNC, CNC machine. machines. How does your truck not handle that? CNC. Is that a low boy? No, because it didn't refuse mine. What what do you have as a trailer? Uh, a reefer, I think. No, not a reefer. Insulated. I have it insulated too. Like, can you change the type of trailer you have? Not without messing with it. See, that's what I understand. Why does it work for me, and not for you? Let You've got the same check. trailer as I do, right? Let me double check. Yeah, fucking insulated. Yeah, then it should work. What the fuck? Okay, that's janked up. View job. Wait, what?
Wait, where are you at? Cause I don't even see where I'm at. I'm at Tom. I'm at the Tesla at the very end of the road in Thompson. Well, I, if I can't get the same job. Oh, okay. If I won't let you take the same job, then just get a different one that's kind of going to the same area. If you wow, can. That's stupid. That's dumb. Were you searching in the freight market? Cargo. That. Okay, whatever. No, is that what I did? I do that wrong? No. No, it's cargo market. Yeah, cargo market progress. CNC machines to Thompson Falls, Oregon. Pendleton, Oregon. And you couldn't pick that up? Nope. Wow. And you have an insulated trailer like I do. And you can't use your own truck and trailer or what? That won't let me. Wow. Well, what else is there that might be going to Pendleton? Uh, well, I do have another load. Motorcycle engines for this. Whatever. Yeah. To Pendleton? Yeah. What's going on, everybody? Still kicks here. I'm back with you at another episode of The Convoy with Destination. We are still driving for Warner Trucks or Warner Enterprises. Um, we had an issue where I could pick up CNC machines with my truck, but he could not. I have no idea why. This is a very janky thing. So he's taking up motorcycle engines and I'm taking CNCs, but we're both going from uh, Thompson Falls, Idaho, to, or Montana to uh, Oregon, Pendleton, Oregon. All right, let's get on the road, folks. That is that is so weird, dude. I don't know why that would absolutely. Thank you, SES, for that. You you guys do a good job. Did you pick it up at that little spot on the side of the road right here? Because there's a spot. There's an actual pickup point on the ground in the in the uh, right across the road from the Tesla place. Unless that's a logging job, I don't know, but that's really bizarre. Turn right. No. Nope. Anyway, hey, hey. Turn right. Sorry, I didn't honk back. Oh, good. Ah, well, one percent damage. Yay, because I can't move my fucking microphone without fucking up around a corner. Good job. Okay. Got it. Go. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Is it that spot I was telling you about? No, that's a rest stop. On that's a legitimately the rest stop. Yeah. Wow. Okay, so that's interesting. I guess 
those must be in like very specific locations then. Because I've never seen one like that. Yeah. Hey, Off to Pendleton. Yes. I got about a uh, half, right. just about half a tank. Yeah, I topped off when I could. <clears throat> Got them hiccups. Keep right. But uh, welcome everybody to another ATS Fleet Month live stream. Waking up the neighbors right now with my Jake. Don't worry about open pretty ladies. That's might be silly if you do. Go straight. Keep right. After 50 yards, turn right. Here's my next ship. You're not going to drive. I'm going to drive instead. Turn I don't know why you're just sitting there, buddy boy. Get moving. Hey, uh, did you ever read the Goosebumps book series as a kid? Yes, I did. Well, guess what? What? The guy's, the guy's publisher has gone through and edited his works without his knowledge or permission because people are scared. We don't want scary things to happen to kids. Well, good thing I read them all. <laughs> I don't give up playing. Well, you should because that's the that's basically what the Nazis did about books back in their time. So, once again, we have the same fucking problem again. Well, folks, yeah. nobody gives a fuck about your feelings. Stop fucking crying about every goddamn thing. We're tired of it. Grow the fuck up. Sorry. That shit pisses me off. When you fucking start censoring books because some little pansy ass, some little pussy, and I don't want my feelings hurt. Fuck you. Nobody fucking cares about your goddamn problems. Go Grow the fucking hell up. Because we're done. You fucking little crybabies. You ain't wrong there. And my blood pressure spiked, I can feel it. <laughs> yeah, I did. All right. <clears throat> Go straight. Hurry up, Pansky. You're gonna go there, bud. Hurry up. Alright, time to take that ride. Turn right. Alright, interstate time, boys and girls.
night. Uh, I think we're gonna come back and uh, we're gonna haul for uh, interstate uh, distributors uh, for tomorrow's ATS live stream. And yes, guys, I will be posting that uh, CFI Logistics uh, Conway uh, setup. If you guys are interested in joining us on uh, Saturday night, you gotta live. You actually, maybe you should live stream that instead. Well, I was what? The actual well, that video you were gonna create. Remember? Yes. I just thought about that. Maybe you should live stream that instead. Oh, I'm like. I don't know. It's a, it's a tutorial. I would say go for it. And then head straight into the actual stream? Not necessarily. I don't know. It's up to you. I mean, you could actually do that. Like, start off with that and then check out the stream for the actual uh, trucks uh, for the, the actual convoy. Or you could have two different streams. Ooh. Just helping you create more content. Ooh. I mean, I might. I don't know. But I don't have the time for uh, double streaming. Ah. I just want to stream, but I can't. Because <laughs> hotel internet is junk. Got to booge. Got to booge. Wow. I didn't even touch the, the steering and it completely swerved me over. There's no uh, bubble over here. I think I got a way station I've got to stop at. Nope. Cool. Get to bypass. You're good to bypass. Yep. You son of a bitch. You should be able to pass it too, I would think. I don't think those engines are that ex that heavy. <laughs> I'm just waiting for you to be like, eh -huh. You fucking dip. No, I wouldn't do that. I would not do that. I am not like that. Damn DOT. Remember, boys and girls, stay hydrated. Especially when you're a content creator. Yep. That's oh. what my brother said he was going to, when, uh, when he was talking to me, he's like, yeah, I've got to make sure I'm hydrated if I'm going to start gaming. Yeah, you have to. Don't shit your fucking, no, don't drink fucking water, man. 
especially if you're going Especially if you're going to be uh, talking to your audience, you're going to really need to wet your whistle. Yeah. Because I've gone like that without drinking, and my voice just goes out, and I'm just coughing. I'm like, yep, that's horrible. Yeah. And I'm, I feel like if I get up and get something to drink, I feel like, you know, people are just like, nah, going to take off. I'm not going to stick around for that. So, like, I don't want to do that to, to the audience. Because my feeling is, be prepared. Have a bottle of water right next to you, pre-opened, especially if you're driving. Otherwise, oh. you're wrecked like Skittle Kicks does. Be a fucking human. Have a fucking glass. Have a water bottle. Have a Gatorade. What's a human? Oh, you don't know what's a human. Nope, not no more. Uh, uh, it's been redefined. Uh. Uh. Take is it is it like is it like grass? Take a sheep for you and uh, shove it in your head. See if that hurts. Hellman's have a feeling. Don't literally do it, dumbasses. Uh, Ritzville. But not the Ritz. Anyways. Warner Express, everybody. Warner Enterprise. Right, let me take my camera out. Check out the truck. Yes. Let's go riding on the cab. How about that? There we go. Let's go riding on the cab. I don't usually do this view, but hey, why not? Maybe we'll crash less if I'm on the roof. Yeah. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'll get a first-hand look at what it's like to crash into something. Maybe you'll even play pay less. Every pay less. Okay. Ritzville and Washatuka, whatever that said. I can't read signs that fast. Washatuka, I can't even pronounce that word. Not gonna try. Just call it exit 221. That's what it is. So the views we got here. Oh, there we go. Bumper cam. Hey, T.O.P., how you doing there, bud? This is the way. Actually, I can drive a lot better this way. On the bumper camp. Yeah. Um, thanks for stopping by, bud. Hope you're doing well, man. The song is groovy. It's so groovy, we've got to play it twice. I like my bumper cam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, boys and girls, tomorrow is Thursday. Yep. And it's uh, gonna be quite fitting tomorrow, cause uh, we're gonna be trucking in a uh, really bankrupt uh, company called uh, Interstate uh, Distributors. Uh, they're back at the actually, end. actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna correct you. It's distributors. 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 Oh, okay. That's like Father Nano. So I, I guess they uh. Distribute uh, out of their asses, they, right? They distribute. They distribute all the things interstate wise. <laughs> yes. I'm not sure how there were two companies named Interstate that did not sue each other for uh, infringement of name. You can technically have the same name. Not now because if it's a similar field that you're doing, that can create a conflict. 
that can create confusion. Not from two different. That's states. why. That's why there's only one Coca-Cola. There's only one Pepsi-Cola. There's only one Dr. Pepper. There's only one Mona Lisa. One Leaning Tower of Pisa. There it is. I'm sorry. I like that song. There it is. I believe. I be what was it? Was it T.T. Shepard that sang that song? I, I don't know. Oh, I gotta go look it up. I know I have it on my computer somewhere. I gotta pull into the wave station. Of course, I would get flagged. Ride along in my bumper cam. Do, 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 do. On to a way station because I can. Do, do, do. Hey, look. Look at that skinny seven. Red old time over there. Not really, but you know. You're having a real grand old time. I'm just fucked in the head right now. Oh, wait. When am I never? That's what she said. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> 85,815 pounds. Thank you for your cooperation. Come again. Thank you. Come again. Uh, is that going to pick me up the speed? It did not. Why are my sing lights always on? Oh, I'm. No? Yeah, it does not feel like it's shifting into gear. Are you stuck on neutral? No, it just was really wonky when it was shifting. It must be stuck on neutral. Must be. No, it wasn't stuck in neutral because I hopped back in the cab. It was just really. I don't know. God damn it. It's just being a truck. Let's try this cam. Right. There we go. I'm on wheel cam now. Shit, I gotta turn. Yeah, I can't do a wheel cam when I gotta literally turn it on Yakima and Pendleton. A little slow road at a uh, way station be like, mm, yeah, I'm just gonna wait that hurry up. Yeah, some of these way stations are not as friendly to touch and go, you know what I mean? Like you can't just slow down to five miles an hour and expect to always roll through. I do it around the three. Three is a good good spot to hit. Uh, five, you can do it, but I think it's only someone, some of them that you can actually roll it. But you're right. Yeah, three miles an hour does seem to work. Four miles an hour works. I just don't like to come to a complete stop and then have to start my truck. Keep right after fifty yards. Exit right. That's why I should. Uh, the H pattern works, man. Pendleton. Very deep. I see skittles up the head. Yeah, very sharp. Ooh, that's a big hairpin corner. I'm speedy on the yards over here. I'm Snowpuck Rodriguez. Yeah, oh! Yeah, uh, Slowpuck Rodriguez? Is that what I fucking heard? That's what you heard. The bird is a word. I've put on 1,253 miles on this engine. Nice. It would be cool to see this thing roll over a million. You can. I, can once, I think that. once you actually have the entire map, it would be really simple to pull a million miles easily on this truck. Or on these trucks. I think it would be nice if there was more 
random events that happen with your vehicles because that is something that happens in real life, like a tire blowout. That would be cool. Yeah, well, that, 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 that's, that's too realistic. My immersion says I want it. <laughs> okay, 31 miles to Pendleton. I mean, I don't think uh, the SES uh, engines uh, can handle that right now. If they're, if they're using 3D modeling, there's no reason why they can't. But maybe they don't know how to co I don't know, maybe maybe they know how to do it. I don't know. I don't know. I just think it would be pretty fan damn to see some like real immersion like that, like where you blow out a trailer tire and you gotta repair it. Not you know, on this I, game. Just like a couple if, things like that would be cool. What's that? Not on this game though. I know. It's not flat tire simulator. Someone Hold needs to make that. a uh, proper uh, heavy truck, and like even a heavy cargo, uh, a heavy truck uh, rescue simulator. That'd be cool. Have it. So explain what that would be. Heavy trucks, semis. Oh, oh, like big wreckers. Big wreckers. Oh, that would be cool. Yeah. Tall. Like you break down and you actually see the tow truck come pick you up. That would be cool. Like I. There are so games should, out there, they but pair, they should pair up with AAA too. There is good game. There is sort of games that were released, but they are complete fails. Really, unfortunate. Yeah. That's unfortunate. It's because people rush their games and uh, they don't know how to do it right. Well, you know, that's not necessarily the game. That's not the developer's problem. That's the publishers that are demanding this stuff right away. No. They, they, they don't no, care no, if they're no, going to... No, 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 no. These are all independent, uh, independent guys. D really? Even, uh, big companies. Legit small birds. No, even small birds have that same problem. In fact, a lot of times it's even worse because they are smaller. There's this higher demand. You know, which is unfortunate because then we, we, the players, get stuck with crap. See, here's the thing. Yes. Even when, even if you are a small developer, even by someone yourself, not even partnering out with anybody, develop a good game, code it right. You want people to fucking buy your game, do it the right way. Or don't do it at all. Well, what is the right way, though? Code it properly. Don't rush the game. Like it's a fucking five minute job. No, no. Well, now hold on here. Hold on. Hold on. Because coding a game is not easy when you're the only person doing it. You want to. Here. You look at, look at, look at Concerned Ape, the guy who came up with Stardew Valley. He had nobody helping him. It was literally just him yeah. that coded that game. And I don't know if he was rushed. I don't know how long he'd been working on it prior to the release. You know, so, I mean, it's... I don't think coding is necessarily the thing that's causing the issues. A lot of it's publishers that say, we want this out now because we have this deadline to meet. No. That's what it does come down. Now, even if you're an independent, you still have to have somebody publishing your game to get out in the stores and get it online. Because nope. not everybody not everybody has access to Steam. Not everybody wants to use Steam because of how Steam charges people extra money. I don't know. I'm not a coder. I'm not a developer. I just know that I get... I just deal with a lot of weird shit games. But I have yet to know any kind of game that's been coded right. In all the years I've been a gamer, I've never known anything to be coded right. Because right. right. if games were coded right, we would not have half the issues. Like GTA V, that was never coded right in my book.
I'm not in the drop off. Let's go drop it off. All right, there we go. Enter A. All right. Well, that's going to do it for this episode. Hope you all enjoyed. Take care, everybody. Bye for now. All right. Uh, it's already 8 o'clock. I think I'm going to call it good for these episodes because I got I got four episodes to edit. <laughs> no, like four, like two ATS and two ETS I got to edit. Nah. I'm trying to get really fucking sick to my stomach right now because I have not eaten. Well, you should have ate then. Oof. No, I think it's the Chick-fil-A that's not sitting well with my stomach right now. Ew. That or stress. Take your pick. Well, you were freaking arguing. <laughs> no, I wasn't arguing. I think I think that you and I come from different points of view regarding how games should be done. Personally, mm. I don't think game developers... Oops. I don't think uh, game developers... Uh, you know, I mean, they get shit on so much. You know, they really do. But anyway, uh, oh, so where, oh. where can I go from here? I'm not going to be able to do that. God damn, I hate that fucking stupid message thing. Ooh, leaving leaving area. Fuck you. I don't need to see that every two seconds. Yeah, the Lord just There's wrong. nowhere to shut that off either. That's what sucks. No. Oh, I hate this freaking Oh, God. Oh, there's a Mac dealership I have to discover. Ooh, that is super. Oh. Ooh, God, that's super uh, stressful. Yep. That it is. It's a very. That was a very tight drop off. Oh. Oh God. Hello. I love it how, like I loved it how like when I first learned how to do this stuff with uh, ATS like yeah just go slow uh, you can't because every because response is is very very awkward with uh, with uh, the steering mechanisms on this game Oh, I see what I'm doing. I was like, what the hell am I heading? Yeah, I don't think that SCS realizes that a lot of these places are not going to have a shit ton of obstacles in the way. Especially around loading areas. They're not going to do that. So I don't know what SCS is thinking. Like, hey, let's add some shit that's not physically there, but we're going to make it more complicated for drivers. Whatever. Very happy, I'm happy. 
wanna chillax for a bit? What's that? You gonna chillax for a bit? Yeah, I've got to. Yeah. I gotta fuck I gotta fucking relax, man. I'm No no, no you're good, man. Yeah, my stress went through the fucking roof tonight, and I don't know why. Oh wait, yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's there's a lot of shit going on right now that I'm really not happy dealing with. Well, yeah, there's a lot of lot of shit going on in my life. So, and I don't like it when it affects my gaming. Like I do not like that because I come to game to chill and relax, and then something will creep in my head, and then I just go on a rant about it. And I'm like, dude, why? Why the fuck do I do that? I do not know why. Uh, it's so immature of me to do that too. Like, are I'm you gonna just... keep the uh, server up? Oh uh, yeah, oh yeah. I'm not shutting it off. I'm actually okay. gonna go turn. I'm just gonna go to your channel. I'm gonna keep my. I'm actually parked right now. Okay. So I'm. I'm not going to. Uh, uh, build... Let's see. Because I need you to. Fi you need. You need to finish what you're doing. Well, I already finished my last cargo. Oh, you did. Oh, okay. Well, I figured you were gonna do another one. Yeah, I might do one more. Yeah, I'll just go make fun of you. Yes, you should. Oh, hang on, I gotta see what Ryan's playing. Oh, uh, I see. I don't like this one. All right. This he plays um this weird pirate game. What's it called? Like an important sale. Or an important person. What the fuck is this game? It's like some weird, like old school, like wooden ship pirate stuff. And I'm like, yeah, not cool. Don't care. <laughs> All right, I'm looking at your channel right uh, now. There you go. Give you a Bellingham. like. Bellingham. All right. Bellingham. Hmm. Nah. Reno, eh? Tastes like Reno. Hmm. How about some radiator fluid to Reno, Nevada? Mm. That cuts you through in part of Oregon that you haven't seen yet. Yeah. Oh, it's just burns. Unless that's too far. Unless that's too far for you, right, to go. Not really. Okay. We're just sick and tired of our uh, Tesla. I think everybody is. Eh, you know what? Uh, let's see. Elko Jack, Nevada Jack, oh, yeah. Eh. Eh. Uh, uh, that was those were the tires I was going to do, but nope. Uh, nope. Fuel pumps to Astoria. Recycled metals is kind of cool. Uh, that's going to Olympia. Do we have another load of... Uh... Let me see. Do the, I would do the fuel pumps because you haven't been to that part of uh, Oregon yet. Uh, recycled metals. That goes down to oh, that goes down to Kelly. Uh, I want to stay away from Kelly. This story, yeah. Sure. Tesla to UPS. Uh -oh. Sure. Sure. Oh god. God. Let's go right. Did I? Really? Clip. What? Did that really clip? Alright. I don't think that was going to clip, but okay. Alright. Yeah.
Let's see here. Uh, let's, what else do we have? Ew. Spokane. Reno. Vegas. Tukumkari. Missoula. Rup. Uh, this one technically pays more. Whatever. Oh, it's got it's on this right now. You piece of shit. I'm gonna double check. Uh, yeah. They're gonna go to the right side. All right. Let's do a whip the whip. I'm not blind chatting no fucking things today. No way. Oh, it's right here. Okay, never mind. I thought I had to blindside the fuck out of a. Uh... Maybe. That's not too hard. That is not too hard. Let's go. Hey, 10 likes on the stream so far, eh? That's pretty cool. Alright, boys and girls. Uh, I think this will be the last cargo of the night. Good old 579.
Alright. Uh, take my left out of here. to Astoria. Go straight. How's all the amazing people doing? After 100 yards, turn right. I know a lot of people are streaming tonight. As it's also a right. silver lining roleplay uh, night. But I do want to say thank you to everybody for coming out and supporting the stream. Because you all are amazing. Skittles is uh, unwinding down from the session as uh, he's not feeling too well. That baby blue though, looks really nice. <clears throat> uh, we should be okay. Yeah, well, we do need to pick up some fuel. Uh, we're down to like the last quarter fuel so if we manage correctly we should be okay to make it all the way there but we're likely just going to uh, fuel up uh, when we get the chance to So beautiful today, nice overcast guys. You know what? I might show you all what I'm we're gonna be running uh after this.
So for all you amazing people that are going to uh, join us so, uh, this Saturday night, 7 p.m. Eastern, um, for the uh, CFI Logistics Convoy, mind you guys, this is not Truckers MP, we're doing it on Convoy mode, so you're going to be running these specific uh, mods. Um, which I will showcase to you guys after the stream and uh, you guys are going to run these specific mods and load them in the specific order in order for uh, your profile to work Actually, no, I, I would do a showcase uh, for all of you tomorrow. Because I forgot I had to take care of uh, this other thing for work. I'll show you guys tomorrow on the stream. And uh, I'll re-release the uh, that portion of the showcase. And uh, I'll do that uh, as a upload, a separate upload. <clears throat> Yeah, they had to uh, take care of this other thing for work, so. Yeah. Sorry, boys. Hey, bypass. Let's go. I do want to say thank you to everybody for coming out and supporting the stream as always. Y'all are amazing. <clears throat> and uh, thank you to Mr. Skirtos for joining me at the convoy again. She is Warner Enterprises. Looking pretty good. Gotta stay right.
Uh, we are also likely going to use the CB uh, to communicate. Obviously, you guys, those that are going to be joining us, uh, I will have a uh, convoy voice chat open, uh, but everyone's going to be uh, likely muted, aside from my voice, because uh, either that or uh, you might get a double echo coming out of uh, the streams. And the uh, CB, so we'll see. Getting close. Astoria. Honestly, Astoria is actually a cool name. I think it would be a great name. What's that? Astoria. Astoria? Mm hmm. Sounds like a cool kid name, too. Yeah. Yeah. Hawkeye. Okay. okay. I don't like the shit of blue though. That's nice. Yeah. Really nice. For book eat, boys and girls, tomorrow we are going to be hauling four interstate distributors as part of our Fleet Month edition. And uh, Friday's uh, blah, 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 blah. Friday stream, uh, we're gonna go back and play Chef Life, a restaurant simulator. Age can be too. Or actually, we may actually switch that around. What do you think, Mr. Skittles? Should we, uh. It's up to you. I might do that. Because I still yeah. gotta upload that, uh. uh CFI, uh. Mods list tomorrow. So we might do that. I would concentrate on that and we just take a break from trucking. Yeah, we've been trucking for a while. Quite a while. Yeah, we'll do that then. Uh, Interstate Distributors uh, stream will be on Friday, tomorrow. I'm gonna upload that uh, CFI uh, showcase stream, uh, or video. And we'll play some uh, Chef Life tomorrow. Nice. 
So y'all can see me go tarp up. Naturally. Naturally. Ray, it's burning. What the fuck? I never saw this video. That's cool. Uh, OCRP, you can now drive the trains. You can actually RP the trains. Yeah. That's cool. Local has to always wait till the last second just to give me and, and merge. Oh, yeah. Keep right. We're up to uh, 864 subscribers. Nice. I always say thank you for everybody for coming out and supporting. Because without you guys, Daz Nation wouldn't be existing, to be honest. Oh, I am so sick and tired of seeing all these bloody reaction videos. <laughs> I love the warning to death, but I hate that Stone. like, Oh my god, first time listening, you liar. You know you've heard these songs before from other reactors. <laughs> oh god, so pretentious. Like, really, you guys? Come on. Now, you, this video has to come out. Meet the gamers doing some fucking. Uh, you, you, have you ever seen the uh, hot ones uh, on YouTube channel? No. Oh, dude, where they eat chicken wings with different flavors of uh, spice. What? Oh yeah, hot ones. Check it out. That uh, that's not up my alley, boy. Not up my Ooh, alley. Ooh, it's fun. It's fun seeing people fucking screech and scream in pain because of how hot the uh, hot sauce is. Oh, I've, I've, seen, I've seen somebody eat a ghost pepper. Yes. Saw that. That was pretty fucked up. <laughs> I knew, literally. See, the ghost pepper is not the type that will instantly burn you. No, no, no. It's a slow yep. process. It yep. will it'll be great to eat. And you're like, oh, this is so good. And then the saliva builds up and you can feel your mouth just starting to ooze lava. <laughs> I yeah, it. there was a video I saw about that. Uh, I watched like, it. It's fucking hilarious. It's like, it's like two guys or whatever. Like, it's like two jackasses like, hey, we're going to eat this ghost pepper. And it was like pure white. And I'm like, okay, enjoy the hell that your mouth is about to go through. Because <laughs> it will. I'm just saying. Huh. <laughs> Oh, excuse me. I also would love to see uh, reaction videos from GG. I don't know. I Okay, to be honest, I'm not a fan of reaction videos. Because I think a lot of them are fake. Yeah. And I, I, it's, is it really even possible to react to something that's currently popular without already being tainted by knowing what it is? It's hard to react to something when it's already been done. And Rea people know it's been done. Reacting to your old videos? Yeah, I won't even do that. Uh, some of my videos I'm ashamed of. Because I'm like, yeah, why did I record that? <laughs> Especially a lot of my early LSPDFR videos, like before I knew what I was doing. Oh, God. Oops. Yeah, not good. Oh, thank God this guy was not hauling any fucking any uh, logs. <laughs> Imagine if you slammed into a flammable truck in that game and boo! I they have never modeled that. Yeah. Thank God. Eh. 
Big shoutouts to all mm -hmm. for seasonsoulsting.com. For providing all these awesome uh, goodies to the world of uh, content creators, gamers, like yourself, my sales. Oh god. Four seasons hosting. Get your VPS game server web hosting and a whole lot more. FourSeasonsHosting.com. Yeah, do that. <laughs> you want to do it, you know you do. Uh, I'm, I'm alright. Tired. It's been a long day. Deal with a lot of I'm fucking tired. BS. <laughs> I'm tired and grabby. I'm tired. I dealt with a lot of fucking old ass computers. You wanna try upgrading fucking old ass computers? Be my guess. I'm not the yeah, guy don't, to do it. Don't do it. I'm not the guy to do it. Not worth it. Nope. Not worth it. It is not worth upgrading old computers. You can, can you can repurpose them, like make storage servers out of them. That's it. But that's local stuff. Don't. Don't even try to make those things work online. Oh, trust me. We're, yeah. That's what my boss is trying to fucking make me do. It's like, uh... Well, I, I don't know anything about your boss, but it doesn't sound like he's got, uh, intelligence. I'm like, why are you doing this? Why not just fucking find your computers? Hey, I'm cheap, man. I'm cheap. It's like... Yeah. That's what it comes down to, is just being cheap. Well. And then he's going to love it when his station is hit with a bunch of uh, attacks because he's got old hardware or old software on old hardware, and then he won't be able to fix it, and then the station goes down. Because, yay! No, who, who thinks uh, having a uh, 4 gigs of uh, RAM on a, in 2023 with, uh, with Google it's Chrome works? Uh, well, it depends on what you're doing with it. What is it? What's its purpose? Well, one for the studio use, you shouldn't be using <clears throat> just four gigs of RAM because it's four gigs what of is, RAM alone. On what is it Pro. running? What What is that computer running? Like what? What is its purpose in that station? Well, it's for the hosts and producers. So their is their it like the magic buttons that make the the audio work? Yes. Make all the things do it. So it's the main computer that does everything. Yeah. Yes and no. It's a little bit of both, depending on who's doing what. Does it run the station software, like the the radio no. software? No. Those are separate, uh, separate computers. And those are probably higher end machines. <clears throat> oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, bro. The uh, the one that's currently in the uh, actual operations room. Those mm -hmm. are still only 4 gigs. 4 gigs of fucking RAM, bro. Well, I mean, honestly, to get pissed off about it doesn't really matter, and I'll tell you why. Because yeah, I know. It ain't, gonna, it ain't gonna change. Oh, no. I know it's that. Only gonna, it's only gonna stress <laughs> you out. <laughs> I already knew it's only that. gonna stress you out. It's, sort of, it's gonna make your health go down the hill. Oh. That's already done that. It went down health. Mm. Fucking, uh... Uh, what was it? Uh, two two years ago. Ah, I got to a point it was so bad. Almost had a fucking uh, yeah, had to lose uh, yeah, good old uh, couple couple hours of work. But then again, back then I was uh doing uh home nights, so that didn't help. Actually, then you have nobody, that, that, you have nobody in, the, in the in the room. Yeah, no. Uh, a guy working uh, all three stations mm. at night. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I, that's BS, to be honest, so. in, in this world, I am surprised there's even a live staff anymore. Because, like in the, in America, most all radio stations, because of assholes back in the early 2000s, decided to consolidate everything. Um, nobody mans them. Oh. It's like people like pre-record a bunch of like bunch of stuff that'll just get auto-loaded. We used to and, do that. 
No, well, that's happening. It still happens here. And you hear the same 40 songs because that's all they care about. We, if, you, if, you want, if, you want, if you really want to get pissed off about radio, especially in the United States, yeah. watch Corporate FM. Oh, it's yes. A great, do oh, a great yes. documentary on, on uh, Amazon Prime. Yes. That'll piss you off real quick. Oh, yeah. I've watched it. Yeah. I'm like... And that uh, was just the United States. I don't know how bad it was in Canada, but yeah. When you have these wealthy assholes who say, yeah, let's consolidate all the radio to make it better for people. No, they all knew it was bullshit. They all knew that was going to destroy the mom and pop radio station. It was going to destroy the smaller stations. It was not going to touch college radio because that's usually pretty separate. Yes. But it destroyed everything else. Because we got to have the big corporate radio so we can tell you what to believe and what to listen to. Like, you want to hear Boston's uh, more than a feeling a million, zillion, trillion times? Okay, we'll do that for you. Yeah. You'll hear all, I mean, seriously. Yeah. And you're, and you're forced. That's, as a DJ, you're forced to play these shit songs every single day. Yeah. In heavy rotation. Oh, very heavy rotation. Anyways. How, how many times can you hear more than a few? Anyways, um, that is it for tonight's live stream. I'm going to bounce out of here and uh, take care of some other stuff for work related. Um, tomorrow, we are, I'm going to be streaming the uh, Shift Life in a restaurant uh, simulator. We're going to get back into that series. And uh, Friday, we're going to go back into some ATS truck. But I do want to say thank you to everybody for coming out. Thank you to Mr. Skiro, as always, for joining me in sure. the convoy session. And uh, thank you to all the amazing moderators that we have. You are, are amazing, as always. And uh, thank you to all you amazing people for watching the stream. Smack that like button if you guys do. Enjoy it. Hit the subscribe button if you guys haven't subscribed to the Dazzle Nation channel yet. Aww. And uh, we'll see you guys back here tomorrow for another crazy live stream. Until next time. Keep striving no matter what you guys do in life. Stay out of trouble. Or else... We'll send a McJavis after you. Good night, everybody. Love you all. Have failed. Peace.